Hello friends, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be giving you my review after testing for months and months on one half of my face, the IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. I did receive this in a boxy charm. I'm not sure if it was like a boxy luxe or regular boxy charm, but I have been using this for three to four months now, and I've been doing a half face test against the Sunday Riley Tidal Cream. I'm not gonna talk about this in this video. I'm putting up a separate video in a couple of days specifically about my experience here, but I just want to let you know what I was testing this against. I like doing these long-term half-face tests because first of all, skincare takes a while to show if it's doing anything good or bad. You need time for your skin to turn over, for the product to have time to work, and in my mind that takes, and from things I've read, it takes about six weeks for that to happen. So when I do long-term tests, I like to give at least six weeks, but this time I went even longer. Basically, I went until one of the creams, and it happened to be the Sunday Riley one, was used up. But as you can see, hopefully there, I have used almost all of this cream, and I have definite thoughts and opinions on it. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this product and its claims, I'm going to show me applying it, and then I'm gonna give you my thoughts at the end on whether this is good, what it did to my skin, whether you may want this, and uh, my thoughts on how it differed from the other cream, because there were definite differences. I'm not gonna talk so much about the brand or the company of IT Cosmetics, I've done that before, so I'm gonna link a few videos down below of other IT Cosmetics products, or at least one product that I have used. For now though, let's talk about this cream. If you were to buy this here in Canada, you would likely be buying it through Sephora. And if you were gonna be buying this through Sephora, you would be paying $63 Canadian for it, and that is for two ounces of product. If you do want to try it out, you can get a mini size that is 0.5 ounces, so one quarter of the size of this, for uh, $21 Canadian. And that would probably give you about six weeks worth of use, I would say, or at least a month. So if you do want to try it, that might be a good way to go. If you look at the full name of this product, they call it the IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. They say it's for all skin types and that it is a transforming, moisturizing super cream with anti-aging armor. They describe it as an ultra hydrating, anti-aging face moisturizer that's clinically tested to give your skin a supple, healthier, younger looking appearance. They say it can be used for any skin types, as I said, normal, dry, combination, and oily. And they say it addresses the skin concerns of fine lines and wrinkles, dryness, and loss of firmness and elasticity. Those tend to be things that go along with aging. I will mention that is what I'm interested in. I am currently 41, so I am right in that anti-aging age range. Kind of wishing I had used this stuff a little bit earlier, but I am their target audience right now. The ingredients they highlight in here as active ingredients include ceramides, which help support the skin barrier, keeping skin looking moisturized and supple, peptides, which help reduce the appearance of wrinkles and support natural collagen for the look of smoother, firmer skin, and hyaluronic acid, which locks in moisture, supports skin elasticity, and diminishes the look of fine lines and wrinkles. And one of the things about hyaluronic acid is that it does attract moisture to your skin from your surroundings, um, so it does increase moisture not only when you put it on, but also throughout the day. They mention that it's free of sulfates, SLS and SLES, and parabens. And they say that it is infused with collagen, hyaluronic acid, niacin, peptides, ceramides, shea butter, and vitamin E. Your quick absorbing face moisturizer reduces the appearance of pores and discoloration for a more even skin tone and plumps the looks of lines and wrinkles. It is the number one anti-aging facial moisturizer in the US based on basically units sold for 2018. And they talk about their clinical results in a consumer panel survey, which is not the most scientific thing, but they say 100% said skin was soft, smooth, and infused with moisture. 97% said skin looked and felt rejuvenated. And 94% said skin felt younger and healthier. And basically how you use it is you can use it as your day or night cream. I used it as my day and night cream. Uh, they say to apply it with upward sweeping motions, which I mostly did. I, I tend to just kind of rub moisturizer in, but I did try to do that as much as I remembered. If you look at the ingredients overall, um, one of the things that I always look for is fragrance. I It's a huge list of ingredients with a lot of things going on in here. I don't notice fragrance on the list, but there are a lot of different like fruit oils, so like orange peel, oil, um, uh, bergamot, fruit oil, 
lavender oil, grapefruit seed or peel oil. So there is a very lovely light sort of spa-like fragrance in here, but I believe that comes from the combination of fruit oils. That can be good or bad. I think people have this idea that if something is a naturally derived fragrance or from an oil, that somehow it's better than having like fragrance. Really, depending on what irritates your skin, Either one could be good or bad. Just because something is derived from natural ingredients rather than synthetic doesn't necessarily mean it is better or less irritating for your skin. But if you are somebody who avoids fragrance, um, I did not see fragrance listed in here. So now that we have talked about this cream, let me show you me applying it. It is the morning. I have showered. When I got out of the shower, I put on my ordinary um, glycolic acid. I let that sit for a little while and now it is time to apply moisturizer. I'm going to zoom you in close so that you can see this side of my face where I have been using the Confidence in a Cream for uh, three to four months now. Before I do though, I want to give you a little bit of a disclaimer. I've been using this versus the Sunday Riley Cream for, as I said, three to four months now um, and I've really observed what my face has been doing. However, about two weeks ago, I tried a product that really broke me out. So I currently have a few more acne spots than I have through the entire time using these products. So some of what I say, you're not necessarily going to see reflected in my skin at the moment, but I just want you to take my word for it. Um, because I have been looking very closely at the differences from one side of my face to the other over the last month. Now I'll zoom you in. My camera does, even though I have no filters sudden, it tend to blur my skin. So I like to zoom in so you can see like everything going on this side of my face. Now I will mention, like everybody, my face is not perfectly symmetrical. One of the biggest differences is this side of my mouth is a little more turned down and I definitely do have more wrinkles here as opposed to this side. So one time when I did a half face test on this side of my face, people say, oh, your face looked really more lifted on this side. But this is just sort of a natural thing that happens here that can't really be compared to the other side. Uh, so I do have some more wrinkles there. It is a little bit more downturned, but that's not something that is attributable to the products in any way. So the confidence in a cream, uh, I still do have a good amount of it left. It is very creamy, so you don't really need a huge amount of it. Um, I'm going to use this much. This is more than I would usually use, but for demonstration purposes, I just want to show you. It is very creamy and very thick um, and very like buttery feeling, but that makes it sound oily. It's just a very nice, luxurious, thick cream. And it does have sort of a little, very faint sort of spa-ish scent to it. And they do say to sweep it on like upwards over your neck and face. So this cream, I do find you want to give it, you know, a few minutes to settle in because it does need to absorb into the skin and it is much thicker. But once it does absorb, you know, you don't see a lot of dew or like moisture sitting on top of your skin. It really feels like it absorbs deeply into your skin. And it just, it feels very nice. Like it really feels like you are getting like intense, moisture from it and a very creamy kind of moisture from it. So I have noticed on this side of my face, I have some forehead wrinkles and I do find that since I started using this, I think they're a little less noticeable. It almost makes my skin feel more plumped. So it's definitely not getting rid of wrinkles. Nothing is going to do that, but it almost feels like the hydration that it's offering is plumping my skin a little bit and making those wrinkles less noticeable. You will notice on this side of my face, and I actually have it a little bit on both sides right now, there are a few little pimples and a couple little whiteheads. As I mentioned, I used a product that really broke me out, but I did find that if I was having a breakout during the month, it tended to be, or during the last few months, I would tend to maybe get a pimple or two more on this side of my face. This one seems to be a heavier moisturizer, which means it's really plumping the skin, it's really moisturizing, but um, if you are more prone to acne, this, I think, does not, it doesn't cause acne in any way, but it also doesn't sort of like prohibit acne in any way. And at this point, I have to say, just even after sort of sitting here and talking for about a minute, it feels like there's that little bit of like creamy moisture left, but it pretty much feels sunken at this point. 
And you can see it's not a huge difference in the level of like dew or shine from the side where I just applied it to the side where I didn't. So I started to share some of my thoughts there in the application. Uh, for both sides of my face, I have to say that my skin is looking better and more moisturized than I think it ever has. I, for the longest time, like years and years and years, have been using uh, basically a drugstore moisturizer, an Olay moisturizer, and I thought, this is doing what I need it to do to my skin, it's great. Um, and I guess it wasn't until I started using these, these moisturizers that I saw, okay, my skin is looking really, really good with these, which is a hard, like, I wanna say, actually, Sorry, I'm thinking through things and I'm saying them. I was gonna say that's that's hard to swallow because this is so much more expensive, but in reality, that's not true. The Olay that I often get is like on sale for $30, but it's often closer to 40, and this is 65, and you get a lot of product in here. And a little of this does go a long way. So I will mention in comparison to the other cream that I was trying that had 1.7 ounces of product in it, and this has two ounces of product, you may not think that's that much of a difference. However, for this one, I have scraped the bottom of, like it's completely gone, um, and I did find when I was applying this one, I felt like I needed a little bit more product to get it all over my face, whereas this one, I mean, yes, I've hit the bottom, but there's so much cream there around the edges that I'm going to be using this for probably another almost month with what's in there, which means that you'd probably need to buy this like, I wanna say three to four times a year. Um, so yes, it's pricey, but it doesn't, like if you really think about it, it's probably not as pricey as I'm making it out to feel in my head. And I really liked the moisturizing, plumping benefits of this. It felt really nice being applied. Uh, yes, it didn't seem to have any kind of like acne fighting properties. So um, not that it ever said that it did, but it didn't seem to like stop any pimples from happening, but it also didn't cause any. And I just really felt that I had such a nice moisturized, plumped reduction of, like it's not gonna reduce your fine lines, but if your skin is a little more moisturized, they don't show as much. I really, really enjoyed it. I am really likely to repurchase this again. Now, I don't think this is for everyone. I really do think that they hit it on the head when they say this is an anti-aging product. So if you are somebody who is maybe in like your 20s or early 30s, and I think everybody should use a moisturizer, but you're not necessarily looking for a really heavy duty anti-aging moisturizer. Your skin is maybe a little bit more oily or combo. Maybe you have a few more issues with um, acne and breakouts. This probably isn't going to be the ideal moisturizer for you because it's not gonna help with those other issues and it's probably a little bit overkill on the moisturization side. If you are in your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, hundreds, and your skin is drier and you're looking for like a just really moisturizing, heavy cream that sinks in and feels really, really good, then I think this is what you're going to be looking for. I was, um, pleasantly surprised with this. And as I said, I think out of the products that address what I want for my skin, this is what I'm likely to go back to. I have really been enjoying it. I probably can't say it any more ways than that. Um, but yeah, I do think that if you are somebody who is older, drier skin, not really any acne concerns, and you want something that really penetrates deep, feels like it's plumping your skin and just feels really, really good, um, this is a good moisturizer. I would love to hear your experience with uh, IT Cosmetics moisturizers or anti-aging products, but also other products that you have found out there that have worked really well for you in terms of moisturizers. I've really, really been enjoying this, but I am always open to trying new things. Leave all of that in the comments down below. Um, I get really busy. I do try to respond to comments. I don't always get a chance to, but please know that I read all of them. Uh, if you like these kinds of long-term half face tests, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know that. Uh, also, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I do beauty reviews like generally about three times during the week and then more lifestyle stuff on the weekends. So hit subscribe. I never ask you guys about the bell button, but hey, ring that bell, cause why not? It's there do it. Uh, thanks so much guys and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!